Hello, welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. Um, so yeah, I've just kind of gone with Trang Lake stuff and the uh, Captain's Helm. I leveled up and I bought some more live gems. And I think we'll probably do, um... I want to do the, uh... The Depths whatever these are called, the gutter. I want to do that at a uh, different time. Uh, and I will buy the uh, the ring, the cat ring, when uh, before we do that. But for now... Let's try this way. business with me. The way you under is all blocked up, you see, by this god awful statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? Oof, I'm in quite the pickle now. See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough, it starts to look alive. Ach, it just doesn't seem quite right. There are no craftsmen around these parts. Hey, you don't think a real life person was turned to stone, do you? Well, Bernard, we've seen. Benhart, we've seen uh, this happen before, so in this case, yes, I do believe that. See that statue? Ah, hey, you don't. So this is the statue he's talking about. Someone who is pulling on this lever and got turned to stone somehow. Yeah, there's these horrible creatures. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they are. But let's un unstonify, unpetrify this lady. We can hear a basilisk. Which might have been how she was turned to stone. Thank you. I've been oh, petrified hard to speak. Give me for a moment, please. Is that long enough? Let's see if uh, Ben Hart has anything to say at this point. What? Clearing the way was you doing, was it? <laughs> didn't think you had it in your pal. I just didn't do anything. No, no, no. That's not like it sounds, you know. It was a pleasant surprise, that's all. Name's Ben Hart. Thanks to you, I can resume my journey. If we share the same path, I'm sure that we are going to meet again. I'll repay my debt to you in battle. And I swear it by my sword. The road ahead's going to be long, but I'm here to help. <laughs> I am in your debt. It's a true man who honors his debts, and I'll see mine paid. I swear it by my ancient sword. So 
Certainly looks like the Moonlight Greatsword. Kind of. I. Um, I sh I'm fine. No, no, no. I'm fine. Really, I am. Um. My name is Rosabeth. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh. Oh. You're that traveler. I still haven't thanked you. Well, I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks. Oh, a single prism stone. I was attacked and turned to stone, I think. I owe you my life. If you have not come. Oh, I feel shameful wearing these rags. Um, I hate to burden you further, as you've already saved my life. They are hideous. But just look at me. My clothes are in tatters. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? I actually just put away all my stuff. Take anything. Whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Anything at all will do. Just put it on the ground. Okay. Um, yeah. So she has all the uh, Glocken. Pyramids are Glocken rings. As well as some burrs and some fire seeds. We read those before. And all of these pyromancies. Um, a fringe pyromancy of unknown origin creates a cloud of poison mist. This spell contradicts the very principles of pyromancy, suggesting that its cre creator has had a heretical, heretical streak. Yeah, and that's obviously referencing Engi. Uh, most useful when facing other flame manipulating pyromancers. Just don't take the looks you get personally. And Iron Flesh. A pyromancy that internalizes the power of flame turns the body into iron, increasing defense and resistance. As one might guess, the rock solid flesh enabled by this spell dramatically slows movement. Alright, now let's see what she has to say in this. Oh, her name is Rosabeth of Melfia. So we know Melfia is the place where sorcery and pyromancy is abound. We know that Carillion came from there, and we know that uh, Falcon, the guy who does dark magic, came from there. I have my very own teacher. His name is Carillion of the Fold, a famed sorcerer in Melfia, our hometown. I was fascinated by sorcery. And so, well, he's so unique, you see. When he set out for Drang Lake, I couldn't let him go alone. But we were separated quite early on, I'm afraid. Yeah, well, we found him. I'm rather unskilled, and the Lord probably ditched me. But, oddly, I'm a fast learner when it comes to pyromancy. What we're fascinated by and we're skilled at are not always the same thing. That's true. Oh, why can't I just focus on what I truly enjoy? Oh dear, I shouldn't be so choosy. It's hardly my place. I have my very own teach. His name is... Cool, but okay. Be safe. Well, we'll run into her and everyone else later, so... Let's pull this thing, and it kind of brings about an ambush. And they drop life gems and rapiers for some reason. Not sure why. But I'll use their life gem. And just because of, you know, 
convenient loading screens and such. We'll get a bonfire right in here. Well, not in here, but so we don't have to. Oh, nice. So we can actually. warp here real quick. I'm going to collect all this stuff here. Can't remember what's over here. I think it's just souls and such. fight with. It's like, oh, it's, it's, it's like a spinal column, but it's enchanted with something. Looks like it could be, it's gonna say human, but it's obviously either has a big jaw or it's been drafted with something else. So are there are no items up here. Ooh, germ. That's weird. I'm fascinated why there's a germ here. I mean, we do find the germs all along this path. What's in here with him? Huh. Alright. Now I know that... So there used to be all those, you know, weird guys who have just been fighting. But then I think, at least at some stages, they turned them into falconers. So, I guess we'll see. Still in this area, though. I know that these rocks used to hurt so much. For whatever reason. Poison is brutal in this game. Uh, do I have anything that counteracts poison? Don't think so. Some more Pharaoh's lock stones. There's gonna be a lot of cool Pharaoh stuff coming up here. So here's the aqueduct we get to see from. Um, from Majula. Oh wow, there's a lot of people here. But we do. And these are probably alluring skulls or something. Nope, they just feed on those people. So yeah, we see this statue um, here, which I don't know what this is. I don't know. I've never really heard anyone talk about this, but it has like flowers on it, like or plants of some sort. And if that wasn't enough, we get another bonfire. Yeah, there's more plants here, so this looks like the same statue. But this is slightly different. No, it's the same statue too. So this is a complete one. What are they holding? 
Just a bunch of plants. Hmm. Ruined Fork Road. We'll be coming here quite a bit. I have absolutely no idea what they did to this area. And Creighton is not here. So, let us, uh, for all I know, they've, uh, they've completely changed this area. Okay, so you can see, I mean, I can see, there's that guy there. see him. Okay, I'm going to attempt to get the items here. And I'd like to do that by not dying to these guys. Okay, some Lloyd's, Lloyd's Talisman for some reason, I don't know why. if you can see these guys at all or you know just like on my screen and looking straight at them um, but yeah they're just very invisible guys in a foggy place she could lock on. But they backstab you if you try to open up the... Not sure what the lore is on this case. why they haunt the, the area. Old sun ring. Old sun ring. An odd stone ring containing a fire heat accumulates power as the user is harmed then explodes, damaging surrounding enemies. Our deeds will come back to us in some form or another, both good and bad. All right. Okay, this is another area where we can easily get ambushed. Just gonna bait them out. Don't see anything. Ooh, Chlorinthian plus one. Definitely want that. <laughs> they always backstab you. I've never backstabbed them. Okay, there's another one. Um, so I think there's only... Why am I fat rolling? Oh, Chlorinthian plus two, okay. 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 Not really 
sure what to do about this. There's the other item. Oh, and there's dark. Okay, well... Again, not sure what I should do. Guess I can, uh... Go back to Corinthian. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Okay. If I don't get backstabbed, there's faces on these trees. And they... They moan when you hit them. Alright, well now I'm just completely lost. So I think I'm gonna... Okay, there's the thing, which means there's the last item. Okay. There's nothing too spectacular in here. Alright. Okay, we're back at this, which means if we continue along this way and go up, then we will get to... A, a really big one of these trees. Get away. Uh, and we don't want to go this way. But we want to go talk to a guy over here. And I'm not sure if they can attack you here or not while you're talking to them. But then there's this area and then um, what well, doesn't look like anyone, it's not very well drawn, but um, it, uh, there is a head in there that kind of looks like a, a wolf or a dog or something. That's who we talk to. Leave me be. I like it quiet. Leave me be. Not sure how he talks, but... What business have you here, traveler? You may call me Vengal, if I deserve a name in this sorry state. Yeah, you can see his eyes. It is rare to flap these gums. This is pleasant. Long ago, I was hired to defend the kingdom. I remember a long, brutal fight, and then somebody killed me. Or so I thought. I came to and found myself like this. I don't know what explains it, but it's not so bad, really. Now I watch the days go by and gaze at the night sky, thinking of the finer things, far removed from war. I've grown weary of battle, but did not realize it until now. Another example of some nice, nice little dialogue uh, there for him. By the way, this is the statue of the woman grasping the the plants, I guess. There was like half of it missing in that one area on the forked, and maybe this is it. Anyway, he's not a great character. He's not an amazing character. He doesn't, you know, have a lot of interesting character traits, but he certainly talks interestingly about things, which I like. I know not what brings you on this journey. Nor will I deign to ask. 
You may bear a great burden, but don't we all? I prefer to stay my distance. But I want to warn you of something. My body. I see visions. My body, headless, raging without me. My body wielding my sword, a sword forged only to kill. My body will show no mercy. If you see the wretched thing, stay far away. So yeah, I didn't really mention that, I guess, but we sh I should just be clear that there is a head only, and yeah, the, there's a, he's been decapitated. There's a man wearing this wolf head that got decapitated. And we will meet his body later, and unfortunately we don't have the option to stay away, really, so... I learn new things every day. Things never learned in battle. And thanks to you, I've recalled the joy of conversation. If I can help you, if you require something, do speak up. I really do like Van Garl, because he, he seems to like be kind of like... I don't know, like he just said, still discovering things even to this day. And he's starting to appreciate things and and discourage war. Those are values I have, I guess. So that's, I, he's, you know, relatable in that sense. Now he's the one that gets the Claymore, where you can buy it. Does it have some, a lot of stuff? And the Greatsword, which I think we got already. Um, also, the destructive great arrow, which we didn't read, we might as well read it here. Great arrows with intricately crafted tips designed to destroy equipment with impact. Bravery does not necessarily entail going head on with a foe, especially if they have better armor than you. Use these arrows to grind them down from afar. And they have this, and the only thing new is this. Um, Created in Melfia, a land that flourishes with magic and pyromancy. Though the lightning contained in the air lacks potency, it is a boon to any inexperienced traveler. Similar. And he sells Magic Barrier, which we know is Havilah Rocks. I cannot lie. Sometimes I wonder what's become of the kingdom. I was a hired hand, yes. But we soldiers stared death in the eye together. And for his highness, I am afraid. But perhaps it's for the best. We knew not what we fought for. So yeah, Vengarl, um, you know, was fighting for Vendrick um, as a sellsword. He doesn't come from Drang Lake. We'll learn a bit more where he comes from. But he says, I fear for his highness. Um, that shows a great loyalty uh, on the part of the... Uh, the warriors, and also that uh, he wasn't fully understanding what the war was about, but that he didn't think that the king was that safe. We do know that the king escaped in the height of the war, and we don't know why or what, and so this is just again painting more pictures as to what happened to Vendrick. I was born in Feroza, it's a land in the distant east. When I was born, we were already mired in prolonged conflict with our neighbors. Eventually, our kingdom fell, and our people scattered. I've been a sellsword ever since. All I ever knew was war, and I could imagine no other way to live. What a fool I was. I am grateful for these peaceful days. But such contentment lies only in the here and now. Why must life be so confounding? Thank you for lending an ear to my ramblings. Here, take these. I have no use for them. <laughs> That's an achievement. Go Thank along us. and resume your journey. I cannot lie. Sometimes I was a hired hand, and for his highness, I was born in for. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. What a f 
Okay. Farewell. Um, all right, so let's see what his helm says. Helm worn by the ferocious Vingarl Ferosa. As Vingarl's helmet suggests, he was not unlike a mad beast on the battlefield. So. All right, let us go to the next uh, bonfire here. She'll set us off on the next area. I'm going to try to get through this area uh, as quick as possible, uh, which involves going back to Majula. I think we should maybe do that now. Yeah, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get through this area. Let's see here. Oh, you do have a time. Fifty-eight hundred. Nothing super. Okay, so I do have an S this so fifty-eight, can we do that with this? Yes. Oh the time. Okay, buy it um there. It kinda looks like the Covenant of Artorias oh, ring. Um and then let's just equip that here. So well, there's a guy in this area that we're going to go speak to, so... Alright. Shaded Ruins. See how much we can get done uh, in this uh, next, like, 10 or 15 minutes here. Now, I, d I have seen this. There's this guy that's sitting here. He's clearly a... Uh, I would have definitely been fooled by this had I uh, can't lock onto them at all. Had I not seen that on someone else's stream. So yeah, we can hear these mumblings or whatever because I put on that ring of whispers. It's only meant for uh, one area, or one thing, but I uh, have to uh, listen to them. Wait, how do I, oh, I got up there from there. I really have no idea how I'm going to fa fare against these, these uh, enemies here. And they're not in the same location, so I really don't know how I'm going to fare. And there's not one of those. Okay, so yeah, I just don't know what's going on. Ugh. Alright. I don't want to go too far up here because there's so dark up here. Alright. Can I parry these guys? Ferris Lockstone, Soul of the Brave Warrior. Okay, we got enough to level up our uh, our weapon another tick. Dark Scythe. I think we've read the Scythe. But it's just a dark version. Yeah. It doesn't say anything anyway. 
So yeah, there's this horrible creature over here who is a scorpion, and I don't know what he would have been, or, or a, a falconer or something. It looks kind of like a falconer helm before he was maybe turned into this. But let's talk to him now that we have the ring. Human, are we? This is no place for you. Oh, do I have to be, be gone. hollow? Are you not afraid of me? Oh, okay. I see. Humans rarely come here. Those who do turn back when they see me. Or make an attempt on my life. But you are different. We once had a master. He created us long, long ago. Huh. But he was born with a fatal flaw. He resented those who had what he lacked and became fully mired in hatred. Eventually, he drove himself mad. It sounds like Seath to me. It was at the peak of this madness that he conjured up we strange creatures. Or maybe that cycle repeated, and someone else did the same thing, uh, and like became mad and created weird creatures, and had a fatal flaw. Our master was a tragically lonely soul. Eventually his solitude eroded his very reason. In the end, he never understood what it was that he truly lacked. Nobody knows when we were born. Or where our master has gone. The only ones who even speak a human tongue are myself and my better half. Hmm. Wonder who that is. I wish to ask a favor of you. I want you to kill my betrothed. Once, I always found her at my side. But as time went on, things went awry. She became violent, raging uncontrollably. Eventually, she came after me. And we have been locked in combat ever since. So, there's someone that kind of looks like him, or that maybe exactly looks like him, that we are to kill. He seems nice enough, I'll do it for you. Uh, whatever your name may be. We seem to be at a standstill. The wounds we exchange are never lethal. I was born of my master's madness. Perhaps this is some curse. I will be sure to assist you in return. The past is a distant fog. My name was Tark. That is all that I remember. Like Black Iron Tarkus? The past is a distant money. Um, I'm not gonna go through down here. I mean, for all I know, there's some good items there, but I'm just gonna. Oops. And uh, we'll go back to this for a bit. Um, also. Um, I mean, is there any way that we can... something out at the next break. Huh. Okay, so I don't know which ones to like unlock because in the past, you know, like unlocking certain guys. Ooh, they hit hard. Those can be buried. I used to backstab these guys anyway. Uh, 
Oh, there's a... Yeah, like, I don't know if all of these guys, like, I don't know what he's blocking there at all. It's so weird. I'm gonna try to unlock the one guy that I know. Drac How many frame wrenches do I have? I have one, so I mean, it really matters who I use it on. So I'm gonna try and do it on the guy that, oh great. stuff you can't do while locking on, although you can't lock onto these guys anyway. <laughs> We're just getting around him. So that guy over there is who I wanna... Nice, we can definitely level up stuff. There's a guy over there I wanna... Um... Ugh, that's not good. I was hoping to come down here later. Although I think there's an Estus Flash Shard down here. Maybe it's actually in the... the area. The, there's a door there, it's locked. There's a guy up here. We'll be, uh... Oh my goodness, a bad place to land. Or to wait, I guess, that's what I meant. Alright, so let's get this guy. Is there anything down here? I don't think there was before. No, nope. I think it's just a way to fall down from above. From that room. Okay, let's try it. Although there is, there's another one where I can do him, and then there should be a frag branch if you're behind him. I mean, I can always come back. It's not like Orn effects is gonna be something we do right away. We'll definitely be coming back to her anyway. But we can hear, hear her. Okay, yeah, so there's nothing blocking this path anymore. He's wearing an infantry suit. I suppose, just like Van Gaal, these were people. Okay, he, they moved him to here. Alright, well, I'm gonna go for it, and if not, oh no. If there's no Frangerbachior, then we'll just have to come back. We could also go and buy one from Magarold, it looked like. They're very forgiving with you. On, uh, 
the backstabs there. Okay. Alright. Cool. Same. Okay, Lion Mage stuff. Robe worn by Lion Clan mages. The Lion Clan are an offshoot race that appeared in historical records quite abruptly, as if one day they climbed up out of the depths of the very earth itself. It is interesting because the they're called mages, and all of their stuff, you know, helps, you know, mages, but they are uh, using only axes. I don't know if that means anything. Oh. <laughs> Just wait, you dirty rat. I remember you. Well, they animated him and everything. Don't you scare me like that. I thought you were him. That bastard with a ring. Lives in Brightstone Coves down the way. I'm gonna find him and settle the school. Nobody insults me like that. I'm cool to kill him too, Creighton. For the good of the world and for my own honor. I won't let that bastard live another day. <laughs> for the good of. Okay. Well, I'll see you in Brightstone Cove. Um, looks like there's another guy up here. I mean, it's to me, there's probably another item. Oh, there's more guys. I do like that they got brought these guys out of the woods and ma made them like a regular regular enemy here. That's I like it better that way, I think. Okay. I don't know the lore like why they're invisible, but you know what what ifs. Okay, well, let's try this guy. Nice. Okay, at least that part's the same. Um, let's see, the fang key. A sh key shaped like the fang of a beast. A strange key shaped like a wild beast fang. What manner of dilettante would create such a key and what might it unlock? Well, that's very helpful, Dark Souls 2. I happen to know what it unlocks, but you did not do us any favors. So yeah, there's, um, like some stuff over this way. Um, and I suppose I could just jump down, but I, there's no items over there. At least there wasn't before. So I am good by skipping that area because I don't have any fragrant branch of yar to free that guy. All right, so let's go down and uh, thankfully the fan key opens this door right here. And there's one of these guys. Ooh, nice. Who uh, we saw in the painting of Ariamas. They were mean to us then, but Thank you for helping me. I am Onifax. I owe you some form of thanks, but have nothing for you at the moment. If it would not trouble you, could you visit my abode just down the way? Thank you. I believe that I can be of assistance if you would visit me at my home. Thank you. Okay. So... Um, yeah, so she is a boss weapon person, and uh, 
just like strayed, we can trade boss souls for stuff, or in our case, thankfully read all of the lore without having to buy them or trade them. Um, but I suppose it's easier to just unlock her now, and then we can visit her later. Um, Alright, so let's do the boss of this area now that we've pretty much cleared this out. And hopefully we can summon Tark. Which man scorpion Tark? We are definitely doing that. Awesome. Love it. I was playing uh, a while ago and I got to this point after talking to him and he didn't, uh, yeah, I couldn't summon him. I don't know why. That, that was the original game. Okay. So she uses sorceries. Yeah, I mean, much bigger than Man Scorpion Turk, but apparently his betrothed. They used to be in love. Obviously, this looks a lot like. Uh, um, Quelag, but I mean it's unrelated, obviously. So, um, Quelag was born of the chaos. Um, looks like she's born of the Pale Drake, or perhaps of Freya, or perhaps of Aldia. So yeah, the mechanic here is she goes under the ground, if you walk around she can pop up on you, or you can stand on this um, slab of stone and she will never come underneath you. And she's easy. You can also get her to hit down that. Uh, it's kind of difficult to do, and it... Um, it results in like a flame butterfly or something. All right, so let's read her soul. Soul of Scorpion S. Najka. Najka was born of the misdeeds of an ancient being, a frail soul from the beginning that soon succumbed to madness. Use the special soul of Scorpion S. Najka to acquire numerous souls. So yeah, it does sound a lot like um, it was uh, See, this is okay, good. Um, like it was the Pale Drake. Um, so I'm going to go to this area, but I'm going to go immediately back. In fact, um, I'm just going to go back because I actually don't care about... Hmm. Um, I guess I can homework bone and then not rest. As far as I'm aware, homework bone in this game, unlike the first game, just brings you back and doesn't respawn anything. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it just it, it respawns everything, but you are. Uh, it's not like you didn't rest, and so your weapon is degraded, your SS flask is used. Alright, well we're just going to talk to uh, Tark now that we've... Uh, now that we've uh, beaten his master. So let's try to do this, I guess, without... Wow, that was close. Can we do this without getting attacked? Okay. Alright, 
So let's see what Tarek has to say now. You've defeated my better half. This is my thanks. Take it. Huh. I have no gods to pray to. But still, I pray that your journey will be safe. I have no... Okay. Hmm. Well, he used to give you the second dragon ring, and uh, I really like the second dragon ring, and I was going to use it. But maybe, since we've gotten two more fragrant branches of yore, we can uh, now go to these two areas where there was something there. Sorry for going through this area a second time, but I know this is new for me, so. We'll see what, uh, in general are not difficult. Repair human effigy bleeding serum. So I've talked a lot about what repair says in this uh, game. A sorcery that dates farther back than recollection. Repairs equipped weapons and armor. Uses light to repair damaged weapons and armor. Supposedly the sorcery restores items to a past state, but with the knowledge of this art lost, the finer details of the phenomenon are unknown. So, we spoke a lot about that in Dark Souls 1. Uh... I'm not sure what else we got. <laughs> but let us run through this area. I'm trying not to get hit. So that we can end the episode. We're at an hour. And what is in this interesting uh, hallway past the shaded woods and the shaded ruins? The doors of Pharos, who we've heard so much about. screaming anymore. I can try... wait. I forgot already whether or not the gold puts us over where it does. Okay. I'll fix that. Wow, ten prism stones. Oh! Hmm. Here's our bonfire. Um, Germs Respite. We're gonna skip the uh, Doors of Pharos, I think. Actually, I'm just gonna get one item and I'm just gonna get it here and then we all... I'll come... oh my god. This is not a good idea. Okay, we can't even leave. Alright, so basically I just wanted to end this episode by dying. Oh, this is like the guy on the... On the Belfry Soul. 
He's wearing old ironclad helmet, it looks like. Okay. Ugh. Oh. What's up here? What, did this jog drop something? Oh, nice. Nice. So this is why I need the Chloranthi 2 ring. I'm wearing enough armor that I want it to replenish fit quicker. Oh, and this guy dropped something, too. I'll use a royal swordsman. So, yeah. Basically, I, uh... There's an item in here. Well, <laughs> for all I know, it's not in here. I just wanted to get it before we ended the... Santier Spear. Definitely think I'll be using Santier Spear in this playthrough. So, just wanted to grab that while I'm here. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Um, we'll have more lore through next time, and have a good one.